So the, displa the displacement thickness is uh, a key quantity that goes from the boundary layer solution to the outside flow solution. Okay, so that's, that's the way the boundary layer and outside is coupled. The boundary layer tells the outside flow, flow solution what is its displacement thickness. And the outside solution is going to tell me what? It's going to tell the boundary layer solution what? The pressure gradient. Uh, the pressure or the gradient or the UE, right? I mean, if I'm solving this equation, it's the UE that matters. So this is, this is how things are coupled. The, the boundary layer solution tells the outside my delta, and the outside tells the boundary layer the, the uh, UE. OK. So in practice, how do you match the two? It's gonna be, it's gonna be like the coupled equation we wrote down in the last lecture. So in the last lecture, we wrote down three, four equations, right? Three discretized equations plus a, a equation that describes the boundary condition. Now think of the whole system as just a two system of equations also coupled together. So we're gonna write down a larger list of equations, part of that describes what's happening in the boundary layer, and part of that describes what's happening outside. And we solve the whole system at once, for example, using Newton's method. So that's how things are actually coupled together. Right. That's a good question. It's Any just a bigger matrix. With yes, it's just a bigger matrix. Non bilateral, uh, bi diagonal terms? Here, we do have non bi diagonal Yeah, that, that for sure has non bi diagonal terms. But in, even inside this equation, what we have, it's not the whole matrix. It's not a bi diagonal matrix. Um, the whole matrix is a composition of. So the whole matrix we got. Uh, well, the whole matrix we got was a composition, was a matrix, a bidiagonal matrix here. Uh, if we are looking at the first solution, a zero matrix here and another bidiagonal matrix here. Right. And then we have something like that and uh, something like that. And then the boundary condition has a one here and uh, something like uh, a one here and one here. Right, so so this is the whole matrix we we got last time. It's not bidiagonal at all. There are all these coupling terms that couples everything together. It's the same type of matrix we are going to get in the coupled inside the outside like boundary layer in viscous flow system. There are each diagonal block corresponds uh, how the for example how the boundary layer influences itself. So so this whole thing is going to be like a diagonal block for that coupled system. And the, and the outside in viscous solution is also going to have its own thing as the diagonal block. And then they are coupled with each other on the, on the off-diagonal terms. For example, if, uh, if the boundary layer solver is represented by what I'm doing here, <coughs> it's, uh, instead of doing the integral formulation we're going to introduce later, we're just uh, solving the thin layer Navier-Stokes then the coupling term from the thin layer Navier-Stokes to the outside would be what is going to be representing the numerical integration, right? I'm going to be integrating my uh, u along the y-axis to give the outside what is my delta. That is going to be one off-diagonal term. All right. And another off-diagonal term is going to be now, uh, now this entry, which in this case, corresponds to the equation that uh, my f prime at infinity minus one equal to zero. Now it's no longer minus one equal to zero. It's minus something that is provided by the outside flow field has to equal to zero. So that corresponding row needs to have another non-zero somewhere. 